Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Phil McPhail with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine. Join me today. We're going to take a look at this right on the shore cap on Madagascar Pond. This camp has got solar power. We got a half acre lot here, 135 feet of frontage, beautiful swimming place. Um, we've got a floating dock. We've got a boat lift here, gazebo, some outbuildings, and let's go take a look at the whole thing together. First thing I want to show you folks is this, this lot. I know it's a half acre and some of you might think that's small, but this is one nice half acre of land. We've got 135 feet according to the survey along the shore. We've got these rock um, stone beds here for flowers, this beautiful fireplace right here on the shore. Just imagine sitting in these Adirondack chairs in the evening, watching the sunset behind the hills over here on the other side of the lake. It's gorgeous property, gorgeous land all the way around. Let's take a look around the rest of the cabin. Another nice feature of this lot here on Madagascar Pond is this really nice 10 by 10 foot gazebo with a metal roof on it. Use it for an outside kitchen area. Just sit under here with your chairs if the weather turns a little bit. We've also got this wooden patio here with a nice picnic table set on it. And you can see the dock. That's actually a pretty neat system they have for the boat where you can pull the boat up completely out of the lake. It's, it's like a boat lift without the hassle of putting it in and out of the lake. Then the floating dock section comes out to the shore. So it's just really well set up here on the waterfront. We're out here by the shed and I wanted to point out this other rock flower bed. This lot, like I said, is just so nicely landscaped for a small parcel of land. We also got a little treat up back here that makes using this place a little more uh, user friendly. Let's go take a look at it. This property does not have a full well. However, it does have a four foot concrete tile set in a spring hole here in the back of the land. And they're able to pump water from this spring, which is a dug well basically, to the cabin. So that's really nice. You got a water feature here. They don't drink the water, uh, although I've seen a lot of people drink spring water just like this. Over here on the back of the cabin, I want to point out this um, pretty simple electric system they have for this cabin. We've got two outlets that plug into the power source here on the cabin. The one that's currently plugged in is run off the batteries that are charged by the solar panels that you saw on the roof. And then if you don't want to use that, you can switch over to the generator, which is kept in the shed, and that can plug in here as well power the camp either way. If you need a little extra power, you got the generator running your lights and the TV, use the solar power and the batteries. Let's go check out the battery in the small inverter under the cabin on the other side over here. So right here in the foreground, you'll see the small inverter, which has to be turned on before you can run the solar power. You've got your breakers in behind that and then down at the far end of that beam, you'll see two 12 volt batteries. Those are golf car batteries and they do very well powering the property. So just behind the uh, electric, uh, the solar inverter, we've got a well pump here, and this is a shallow well pump that's actually pumps lake water out. So they have another source of water uh, that they use for taking showers, dishes, whatnot. And then here to our to my left, your right, is a uh, holding tank for, for septic. Uh, this is a small lot. They didn't want to go through the hassle of putting in a full system. So they've got a thousand gallon plastic holding tank here that they have pumped out once a year. And that currently runs around $300, give or take, depending on the season, um, to have this pumped out. And it works quite well for them. Up behind the camp, we've got this 12 by 24 shed. It's all, it's all finished with the same siding as the cabin. Very attractive building. Sits on concrete blocks. Inside, you got workspace, you got storage, and you got the home for the 6,500 watt on the generator that's staying with a cabin. Another thing I wanted to point out, one of the great features of this property is the driveway here comes in from the road out here on the East Shore Madagascar Pond Road onto Violet View, which is this road coming in. The driveway kind of snakes down in here. You can't see this cabin from the road. The neighbors, one of them share the access on, on uh, 
violet view to the left of it. You can't see them because of the heavy tree canopy and the ones off to the right of here, there's neighbors there, but you, again, we got a heavy tree canopy, lots of privacy at this lot. Well, that kind of wraps up the lot and the other outbuildings here. There is a small outhouse I forgot to point out in case you don't like a flush toilet, you can always use that. Um, the camp here is 16 by 24, one and three quarter stories. It was built, we believe sometime in the 1960s, prior to 1970 when you couldn't build this, you, you, at that time, you could build this close to the water. Today, you cannot. So let's go inside and check out the interior of this camp. Come on in and take a look around this camp. This is a one room, first floor, one room, second floor cabin. Very nicely done in here. We've got it all finished off, walls, ceiling, floors. Beautiful wood stove if you want to use it here in the winter time. The uh, kitchen is laid out pretty well. Uh, there is a water heater. I'll talk about that when we go upstairs. Also a gas, um, cook stove and a gas refrigerator here in the kitchen. Now that you've seen the first floor here of the cabin, let's go take a look upstairs where the sleeping loft is. Up here on the second floor, we've got, we've got room for two large beds. There's two double beds here, a couple of chairs, some nice windows looking out over the lake. And we have a full shower and tub enclosure here. Uh, there is a 10 gallon electric water heater up over the ceiling here, which they pump the water to from the, the spring. And then here behind the toilet, believe it or not, there's an on off switch to turn that water heater on. So it's, it's uh, kind of what we would call MacGyvered up here in Maine, but it works very well for what they're using it for. Of course, we got the flush toilet here as well. One other thing I wanted to point out, this cabin doesn't have a full foundation. It does set on pressure treated posts down to concrete pads on the ground. It's been here a very long time. It's nice and level, works very well for what they're using it for. I want to talk a little bit about Madagascar Pond or Madagascar Lake. I guess it depends on your point of view. Of course, in the state of Maine, what's a pond and what's a lake is often hard to figure out. This is a 750-acre freshwater lake. It's beautiful all the way around. It's sandy bottoms, sandy beaches, rocky shores, uh, maximum depth's about 35 feet. This is also connected to Little Madagascar Lake, which is about another 40-acre pond. And if you're inclined to do a little exploring, you can paddle your canoe or kayak up the stream right down the lake here, about a half mile, right up into Little Madagascar. The lake here is a primarily a, a warm water fishery. Uh, some excellent, uh, almost trophy size smallmouth bass in here, along with white perch and chain pickerel. And the occasional brook trout is caught here early in the spring or during the winter. There are trout in the outlet of Madagascar stream. The uh, property here on Madagascar Lake, all the way around this lake, there's a road on the east and west shores, uh, and they're maintained by the Madagascar Pond uh, Road Owners Association. That's $100 per year for the dues, and that includes all road maintenance, and they do a very good job of maintaining uh, miles. As, uh, we're about 3.1 miles from the town road into this cabin. There's another mile road here, and plus the other side. Another thing you'll find that you've got great access here to both ATV and snowmobile trails that circle the pond, leave here, and go for hundreds if not thousands of miles connected up into the ITS trail systems. The, the association here on Madagascar Pond also has a common area beach at the very northern end of the pond, and that's a beautiful place to go swimming. It's about, oh, probably two-thirds of a mile from this location down to the beach. You could easily walk there or take your ATV or your vehicle down. There's a small parking area there. That is That beach use is strictly for the owners here on Madagascar Pond. This is the pi private beach that the Madagascar Camp Owners Association has for access for swimming and bringing a boat in and out. Um, you won't find a nicer beach on many, many uh, freshwater ponds in Maine as this one. Fine sand, not a rock to be seen. Great swimming, nice gradual drop off for the kids. And again, this is for the camp owners out here, their use only. The cabin here on Madagascar Pond is located in the town of Burlington. And we're on the far side of Burlington, a long ways from where the village of the town would be. Um, actually, it'd be quicker to go there by ATV than it would be car. 
we're about 12 miles to downtown Lincoln, which would be the closest service town to this camp here in Madagascar Pond. We're 62 miles, which is a little over an hour's drive to the city of Bangor. Uh, there's an international airport there, so if you're flying up here to see this, you can land there and rent a car and be here in a little over an hour. City of Portland's 190 miles, or about three hours drive, and Boston is 296 plus or minus miles, and that's about four hours and 50 minutes from the city right here to the doorstep of this cabin. Thanks for taking the tour here with me at Madagascar Pond in Burlington, Maine on Vi Violet View. Let's wrap this video up with the details. The price on this property is $200,000. The taxes are $1,398 for the last tax year, 2021. 16 by 24, one and three quarter story cabin on a half acre of very private land with 135 feet of frontage. We got the 12 by 24 shed, the 10 by 10 gazebo patio, some sandy swimming area. We got the beach right down the lake. Give me a call, 800-286-6164. Come on up and look at this with me today. And before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next one. A couple other nice features here on this lot on Madagascar Pond. We've got a fairly new 10 by 10 gazebo with a metal roof. Come out here, maybe use this as an outdoor kitchen area. It sits right next to this wooden patio. We've got a nice little picnic table here. Well, obviously self-service works here at Madagascar Pond. <laughs>